Our most compassionate Supreme Master Ching Hai lovingly accepted the heartfelt invitation by the Honorable Chief Phil Lane Jr., Hereditary Chief of the Ihangtanwan Dakota and Chickasaw Nations, to be a keynote speaker on December 22, 2020 at Enlightening Our Way Together. It is a global digital program running from December 11th through December 22nd, celebrating the dawning of a new age with emphasis on the worldwide adoption of the vegan diet and actualizing Article 15 of the International Treaty to Protect and Restore Mother Earth. Article 15 commits to eliminating factory farming and protecting Mother Earth from further destruction. In his letter, Chief Lane, who was inspired by Supreme Master Ching Hai's messages and Supreme Master Television programs to become vegan said, It was clear for me to fully address Article 15 that I needed to be vegan myself and walk my talk. So I am vegan now. Thank you for all your inspiration, prayers, and support. Literally, without your very kind, loving, and generous support, all our work in 2020 could not have been accomplished. Our thanksgiving transcends the world of names and the murmur of syllables and sounds. Although unable to attend the event due to her intensive meditation retreat, Master graciously recorded a special video message for the participants. The following is an excerpt. Greetings are the great First Nations in the world, or the indigenous people, beloved of the creation. I'm very honored to be with you today, but I feel like we always are together, no matter how long, how far the physical distance, because that doesn't matter to the souls. I wish all of you, first of all, the best, that heavens can bestow, that your people will always be feeling the love of the Divine in your heart, in your mind, and in your soul. Amen. I congratulate those who have turned to veganism as a way of life to help save the animals and save our planet. I'm truly grateful for that. And may God bless you evermore. Yes, our world is in trouble. But we can fix it. Each one of us has the power to do it. Simple, being vegan. And then all the beautiful qualities will come out and bless you, bless your loved ones, and then bless the world as well. That is the power of compassion, benevolence, which is inherent in all of us. All we have to do is just to use it. God is all love. And God has only love for all of us. It is that we should also spread that love through a kind, compassionate way of life, so that no one, no beings, get hurt or damaged or ruined or destroyed through our negligent actions, through our inconsideration for others' feelings and right to live. I'm thanking Chief Philane again for his leadership in this role, in this time of need, that he may remind his kinships, his people, his relatives, friends, to remember the benevolent way of life. May God bless him. May God bless you, Chief Philane. You are truly a chief. 
because you research, you know, and you assimilate all the knowledge that is beneficial to yourself and to your people, and you are spreading it. And by being a vegan, you are the best example of leadership for your people. We thank you. Heaven takes note of that and is blessing you, your loved ones and your people ever more, ever more, ever more than before. It's just that in this time of trouble, people will be more uh, inclined to look inward, to be more connected with the Divine. Thus, they will uh, feel, they will recognize more of the love and the blessing of the providence. And it is a good thing that sometimes we go through upheavals so that we can be awakened to something greater than our physical life and our physical beings. And the indigenous people know this, because you are a very spiritual race of beings ever since time immemorial. You have always tried to connect with the higher level of spirit, and you have always tried to protect the environments, the lands, all the beings around you, even trees, and grass and flowers always receive your respect and love and protection. And for that, the Earth, Mother Earth, thank you, nature, thank you, and the animals, thank you. And I thank you. And Heaven praises you for being so conscious of the blessing that you have. I wish all the people in the world have the same consciousness of respect, appreciation and protection and love for all beings around us, because we are all connected. If we hurt one, we will hurt ourselves. If we hurt one, we also hurt all. The indigenous people especially realize this fact very, very deeply, and they always preserve the tradition of respect and love for all around them, because they are gentle, race of beings. They are the forefathers of many races on this planet. We all came from indigenous root. We all came from the first people on this planet, like the First Nations, now you call them. And we all have the duty to protect them, to protect this ancient heritage, this ancient way of life, you know, relying on nature more and protecting nature more respecting nature more. I do hope that all of us will remember these lessons we learned since the first day we appear on this planet. Many of us have forgotten, and this is a very sad thing. We pray, heavens, to bless us to remember again, to remember deeper, deeper through our consciousness. to be more connected with something higher than ourselves, something sacred, something protective, something holy, something benevolent, something of love of the highest order. Amen. It is uh, Christmas season, and I hope all of us remember the sacrifice of our Lord Jesus and make use of His blessing, His loving grace to do something good for ourselves, for others, for the world, and for the planet, so that we might continue to exist in peace and love and harmony with all beings, and above all, with all heavens, with all the universe, in the all-embracing love and mercy of the Most High. May you all be well and blessed and loved the way that God intended for us to be. Love you forever. We are connected. We are relatives. We are friends. God bless you more. May God bless us all. Amen.
following Master's message, Chief Lane and several participants expressed their appreciation. Just heartfelt Thanksgiving. I just I had so many beautiful tears in, in listening to that beautiful, kind, compassionate message from Supreme Master Ching Hai. I'm truly grateful to Supreme Master Ching Hai for this incredible message. And I am grateful to her for speaking out on behalf of the animals so clearly that we must treat them with kindness and compassion. And, uh, and also for highlighting the um, unity of compassion among all okay. religions. I would like to honor and thank the Master for her recognition of the role of the indigenous people in honoring the sacredness and oneness of all life for humanity. Thank you so much. <laughs> Beloved Master Chin Hai, we have received your blessings in our hearts, in our spirits, in each part of our DNA, your example, your pathway has inspired us, motivated us, enlightened our way together to love, to honor, to cherish all life, and especially our animal relatives. And it is as though Supreme Master had a watering can of love and nourishment for all, all the earth, for all creation, and the heart is full. So gratitude to you, the Supreme Master, and to all who are walking the journey ever more consciously. Our deep gratitude, most beloved Supreme Master Ching Hai, for sharing this illuminating message of love, uplifting hearts, and lighting our way to a future filled with benevolence for all beings. Also our sincere appreciation, the Honorable Hereditary Chief Phil Lane Jr. and all those involved in this event for your caring leadership and commitment to safeguarding our precious Mother Earth. We pray more humans quickly adopt the compassionate vegan way of life so generations to come of all peoples and species will know an existence where peace and love reign. Please tune in for Supreme Master Television Show on the Enlightening Our Way Together global digital program at a later date.